Hi, friends. I'd like to share a book with you today called... Bugs for Lunch. Bugs for Lunch. That's right. The author of Bugs for Lunch is Marjorie Backlum. The illustrator is the person who drew the pictures. And that is Sylvia Long. Bugs for Lunch. This is a book about spring, so I thought you would really enjoy it. If your lunch was a bug, who could you be? Maybe a nuthatch at work in a tree? Or maybe a spider trapping a fly? Spiders catch their food in their web. Or a bat catching bugs as it cruises the sky. Bats are good at catching mosquitoes and moths and all kinds of bugs. Or you might be a gecko. It's a gecko. He eats ladybugs and beetle bugs and even spiders. Or maybe a mouse eating the insects in somebody's house. You might be a shrew, not just eating lunch, but snacking all day on bugs by the bunch. Shrew is trying to get that big fat worm right You could be a toad, zapping a fly with a flip of the tongue and a blink of an eye. Or maybe a praying mantis, ready to prey on any size insect that happens its way. You might be a trout at home in a brook looking for insects that aren't on a hook. You could be a bear searching for honey, but finding that bees are just as yummy. Or maybe an aardvark whose tongue is long and sticky, slurping up termites and ants and others that are icky. You could be a plant that, could ch that can't chase a fly, but just sits and waits for its food to drop by. Isn't that unbelievable that some plants actually catch their food? He's catching a caterpillar and he's ready to eat it. A leaf is. That's amazing. If your lunch was a bug, you might be just you. Now this girl's going to eat this bug. This girl caught hers on a stick. Some people eat bugs on rice and some people roast worms to eat. Now, we don't, but in other countries, some people do. That book is called Bugs for Lunch. The end.